Sasha K Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see SQL Basics. Uh, this is only a video. Uh, this is not. Uh, this will not be taken as a class. So this is like very basic stuff. You should know it. You already know it. This is just for revising your uh, SQL concepts. If you are from computer science background, you might know very advanced concept. And advanced concept are discussed in the class. But this is a very simple techniques, a very simple SQLs for getting and fetching and inserting the data. Okay. So uh, we already shared the slides for uh, installing uh, MySQL database. If you don't have it, please let me know, and I will send you the slides for that. So basically, you can download MySQL. It's a free database, basically, and the installation is super easy. You just follow the steps, click next, 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 and use custom uh, options and uh, sorry, use use. Um, default option and it will get installed on your machine and once it's installed it will ask for root and password so you will get this mysql workbench as a part of mysql package and please go ahead and install this mysql workbench it's pretty useful if you do not have any other tool or if you don't want this workbench to be installed there is another software called as db visualizer that is also free you can use that too and uh, and basically uh, why we use workbenches uh, you have very good data model view as well i will show you that feature later uh, right now i'm just connecting to my local instance uh, of mysql okay so this is local instance and you can see there is a management tab as of now nothing the schema will not be visible unless you start the database server so just click on this management tab and go to startup and shutdown if you click there there is something there is a button called as start server just click on you might have to uh, open an options and uh, click this button twice first it will check the system yeah it started uh, okay so once it is started you can go to schema option and you can see all the schemas get populated so for you there will be only one schema called sakila that is by default provided you can see table view sorted procedures and functions and in that you have to choose tables and you can see a lot of tables populated here and these tables you can use as a practice database okay so we will be practicing against the database okay of course this is populated with the data so if i see Now, as I have a lot of database, let me make a default database, okay? So I don't have to mention. So just double clicking on Sakila will make it as a default database. So I don't have to make this as I don't have to mention Sakila dot actor Sakila dot address. No, I can just type actor and it can show data to me. And let me see the data. Yes, and it does have a data. So this is our first statement which we're gonna discuss called a select statement, okay? So what is SQL first? So SQL is a, a symbolic query language. This is for uh, querying the database and getting the results from the database. And you know what is database, right? Database is storing the data. So whichever assigns a specific memory for uh, input data or any kind of data which you want to store, okay? And in a column-based fashion, so it's in a proper tabular structure. So we save the data in database and we fetch that data with the help of SQL queries and the first statement which we're gonna learn is select and select star means select all columns so as I said the column based structure and tabular structure every column has a name and you can see actor ID first name last name last update when I see star means all the columns of this table gets populated and if I just click here I can see what are the columns available this is actor ID first name last name and last update i can choose what column i want to see so if i see that i want to see actor id and then first underscore name and last underscore name that's it and i don't want to see this last update i can do that okay so in this statement i will be able to see
my spelling mistake sorry it's actor underscore id so this should be good now and yes so i'm not able to see the last last update column because i didn't select it so you can do selective uh, things there is another thing called distinct so if, if the results are um, not distinct so if you are repeating the results so basically you can use distinct option also so distinct call column names and from that table so only distinct means different values will be shown to you okay so these whenever you are using the statements like this select update delete and insert into so what exactly this statement means select extract the data from database update updates the data into database delete will delete it from database insert will insert data into database it's pretty simple and uh, it's, it's, it's actually uh, the name itself telling that what exactly is doing okay there is another thing called a data definition language what exactly it does let's see uh, there is so these things will not be used by you because uh, there, there are different definitely there will be another team called as database administration team DBA team which is supposed to do that you are not supposed to create tables or alter tables or in, in, in any company in any uh, uh, good software company will never allow you to create databases by your own so there is a team which is doing normalization there is a team who analyzes the data and make sure that you are, you are not repeating the columns all the data are proper, properly manipulated and understood so that team actually creates all these tables but just because uh, we, have, we have started this topic SQL let's discuss this what exactly is this create database will create a database so what exactly database is so this guy like mediacom credit retail so these are databases and under that you can create tables and all those okay so that is a create database uh, then alter database if you want to modify something create table creating any table just like you have actor table right so you create a table alter table you can modify a table if you uh, want to okay and then drop table if you want to delete that table entirely create index now if you are searching on basis of something if you are searching on basis of actor id if you are searching anyway it's a primary key so it's indexed but if you are searching on something which is not primary key then that is uh, you can add index to it and database will allow you to search faster it's not like you are not able to allow uh, you are not able to search with any other column you can but making it as an index will make it search as a faster thing and delete the drop an index you can delete that index too okay so we saw select statement where class so you can add where class to it so now you don't want to see all the results all the time so you can add where class to it and where class is pretty simple so you can add where and then you say what column name after underscore guy id and then after where class there should be a condition which will get satisfied and you will fetch only those records which satisfies the condition what does that mean so if i say actor id equals to 5 so that means that only those only that row will get shown which has actor id 5 okay not other thing okay actor id less than 5 so only 1 2 3 4 will get shown so where after where there is a condition which needs to be satisfied and on that condition for the columns where the condition is true those columns will be shown to you okay and what are the allowed operators equals to not equals to greater than less than greater than all equals to less than all equals to between okay so between is a range so you can actually have actor id between one Five. No, one and five I think let's see an example of between if it is there not like that so let's see one comma five and let's see if it is giving any other okay so between 1 and 5 so you will see the id is like that okay 
uh, one of the, the DB2 database allows that format and has recently worked on DB2 so in between you can actually pass with the um, braces okay then like uh, like is for string so if you were to search like the first name first underscore name like and then here you actually pass like how it should be so like uh, let's say P E N E and then percent and you showed that and search for it you will get all the names with P E N E and this is the column which is called as wild card so anything starting with the P E N E so see all the names are uh, starting with P E N E okay regardless of vector ID now we are searching for uh, first name in specify multiple possible values in the column so it is like my first name in and here you specify values like this penny lobe or something or David or anything so you specify those value here so let's see actor ID in and here one three five six say one uh, 40 okay and this is it so if you run this query you will see one three six seven and forty so in is specifying those values okay and this is much of it so do you not have a complicated structure in there okay you can have multiple conditions and you know that you can append with the and so if you have something like two conditions like and first name like p e n e again and wildcard this so uh, two conditions will get satisfied uh, first thing is actor id should be in these things and second thing is first name should be p e n e uh, and this guy uh, p e n e and wildcard so if you see this this row should be visible so if we execute this code okay one line will be visible because that is satisfying the condition okay the and condition is your mathematical and so you know that if this is true this is true then the result will be shown accordingly Okay. if this is go wrong so if you have something like oh my then my name is definitely not there so uh, like Rishi and then if you say that so nothing is coming here because this condition is not returning anything okay and or if you use or here then at least one of the condition gets satisfied and those results will be shown so even though the second condition is wrong anyway the first condition is getting satisfied and it will show the results okay that is and and or order by gives you uh, the if, if you want results in a specific order you can do that with the help of order by clause so if I want uh, my results order by uh, my first names so you can do that with the help of order by first underscore name okay and execute it you will see it will start B then E then G then J and then P okay so by default order is always ascending if you want descending order then DESC and it will give you descending order so first P then J so it's reverse the orders by default the order is always ascending so you don't have to mention that okay whether you mention it or not order is always ascending okay so let's say insert insert statement so let's try to insert something into database So the format is insert into table name values and give the values okay and uh, this is actually not a good format to use uh, because this actually uh, want all the columns all the values for all the columns what we recommend and for what Java uh, recommends or what how we write statements is like this so insert into table name and we specify column names regardless of uh, whether you want to insert all the columns or not you always give this format okay so if you want to see a sample of insert into what you can do is just right click uh, copy to clipboard and or send to SQL editor insert statement it will give you an insert statement okay and it will show you I can show you how what exactly it is so you can see actor and I'm just deleting this extra parameters which we don't want and see here insert into table name and then you have parenthesis and you have mentioned all the columns okay you may delete you may not delete it I'm just I don't want I don't like uh, anything which is not looking good so 
uh, I'm very specific to how things looks uh, then okay let's keep values fields and let's update these fields with value so how this updation happens so if the first specified value here will be given to actor ID column so first column so whatever you mentions here so let me put first uh, thing is as a 65 uh, then first let me make a name as Rishi okay you can use a single uh, thing also single um, quotes also and last name as trainer okay that's not my last name though but I'm just using it as it is and love subtitle is current timestamp you can use and you can remove this stuff okay current timestamp is whatever time right now and this is SQL provided uh, what I can say keyword which gives uh, current timestamp real current timestamp so let's insert this and you can understand actor ID is assigned to 65 sorry 65 assigned to actor ID they she assigned to first name trainer assigned to last name current timestamp assigned to last update so this is what gonna happen insert into table name values and give the values according to the sequence of column names and this is it if you insert it uh, there is an error let's say skila dot actor okay duplicate key 65 so let's say 165 I don't know how many things and so duplicate key means there is already a row with actor ID at 65 so okay it's again primary key so let's say 465 I'm not sure whether it's 500 records oh, okay so we got that row inserted you can see the results right here what I'm actually looking at so the one row affected and there is a green arrow another thing skirt field which has cross arrow and red mark so you can see that it actually inserted so how do I check that I can just select star from actor or sakila dot actor or whatever actor uh, where actor underscore id equals to 465 and if I execute this statement I should be able to see the result Rishi tender and the current timestamp so when actually this got uh, inserted so this is today's date and this is uh, what we got as uh, current timestamp okay so this insert statement is very important update statement is uh, pretty simple so what update does is uh, you have to mention update then you have to mention table which table you want to update set now what you want to update so give the column name and value okay and then you have to give a condition also like on what condition means which so you have to select that particular column right so you have to select a column which want to update so this where condition will select that particular column so what's an example so let's update this guy so I will update my last name okay so update the first thing what you are updating actor table okay now what do you want to update which column the last name last underscore name okay and then you mention last name as a uh, Sardesai okay and now uh, the third thing is where the condition condition is actor ID equals to 465 so this this will make sure that I am actually uh, what's, what's the problem here so let's use semicolon here let to remove the error so what's what's the catch here so actor ID 465 will select only one row okay so make sure when you are updating uh, your where class actually uh, fetches that exact row which you want to uh, update so always try your where clause with select statement okay before using update because if you are fetching multiple rows then that will gonna uh, update multiple rows okay remember that so let's do it let's run this score and see what happens so it got updated and let me see whether that reflects into database with the select statement and yes Rishi Sardesai and you got that particular column updated okay 
and last thing is delete so delete is uh, again I uh, to tell you that always use proper uh, clause here so delete statement is again simple delete from table name and then uh, where you have condition so if you say delete from and you say actor and you don't have to specify any column because you are not deleting any uh, column here you are actually deleting something from the table so entire column uh, entire row will be deleted okay so where actor id equals to 465 okay if i execute the statement the above things will be uh, so below things will be deleted and you can see if i try to fetch it I'm not going I'm not getting anything because the row got deleted okay so these are basically four uh, statements and okay remember do not uh, delete without any uh, where clause because that will delete everything so delete from table name or delete star from table name be careful if you delete that if you execute and if you are right to execute this then definitely all the table rows will get deleted and uh, you might get pink sleep after that because deleting a data from the table is a huge thing do not touch production okay uh, very important thing do not execute delete statement unless you tested your where class properly okay generally developers do not get uh, user IDs from a DBS which has delete rights you have only update and insert and select rights you will never have delete rights actually but if you have it be careful uh, while deleting Okay. Do not do not delete anything without testing your where class and without make sure that what exactly you are deleting is unused. If you if somebody else is using it, your transaction might fail. Or if you if you are testing something, if somebody else is using that data and if you delete that data, then that's a problem. So do not delete without testing or without knowing what exactly you are doing. Okay. So this is it. This is very simple things. Try to do it in your home. Uh, you have your MySQL database setup. If you don't have it, please email me and please practice it before we start advanced SQL. That will be a real time class. Okay. So that will be a later stage though. That's not immediately, but yes, make sure you know uh, uh, these things better than better before we start joins. Okay. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a wonderful day ahead.